about damn time in the K-Rock studios right now. Fresh off of a brand new special streaming now on uh, Prime Video called Hello Again. Tig Notaro is in the K-Rock studios. Allie, your dreams have come true. <sighs> Yeah, and um, hi, Tig. Hi. Thank you I, for being here. I wanted to preface this entire chat by saying that when I really like somebody and when I meet them in person and get to chat with them, I have a tendency to ask really, really long questions. Mm, that let's kind hear of it. take. Uh, well, <laughs> that'll be your own time. I think time we're here. almost in one now. <laughs> Don't do it. But um, it will start. And then I'll have a path I'm going down, yeah. and then it'll kind of take a few twists and turns that I wasn't expecting, and then it's really hard for me to get back on track. And Is then it already it, happening? Yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. You're in so the middle of it. I so want buckle in. It's you be a to long know ride. Okay. that you have two options. One is you can just jump in and save mm -hmm. me. And no, the other no, no. one is that you can just let the car crash happen. Let's see it. So... I'm it's ahead. happening I'm now. For, yeah. I'm your, here for it. Give your first question. Just even you explaining that, Allie, took a minute and a half. Okay. I'd actually like more details. <laughs> no, Dick, no. Don't do not even. She, she asked a question to Alanis Morissette. It went on for a minute and a half it long. It was 43 seconds. And now there was nine questions better than one question. Okay. I would prefer if I got out of here without being asked a question. Oh. If I just listened to your setup. <laughs> <laughs> you may face your well, wish. So one question I did have. Oh, here we go. All right. Well, let me set the clock. Hold on. If you find two, I'm I'm open to that yeah. as right. well. So you work with your wife mm -hmm. often, mm -hmm. and my wife and I have talked about working together mm -hmm. on things before, but we always said no because we would end up fighting a lot. Oh. And it seems that you and your wife don't fight, but will you please... Tell me an example of a time that you have to make me feel better about my marriage. Well, see, that is the thing that people it, like you're not going on social media or going into interviews saying, let me tell you about all the bad times, you know. True. So, it, it, of course, we have arguments. And do you really think we don't? Well, it just seems like you guys continue to work together because things are going well. Both at, and you spend all this time together at work and at home. Yeah, I feel like for me and my wife that would last like three weeks, but you continue to do it, so something must be going right. Well, I can't remember the exact issue that happened, but I remember we were working on um, my TV show that is no longer One um, Mississippi. One Mississippi. Yep, um, and we had an argument on set. No clue what it was about, and we did not talk the whole day. But we just moved around each other, and I don't think <laughs> anybody knew because we were just doing our job and whatever. We weren't, like, fighting mm -hmm. at work. We were just moving through the day. Yeah, it's funny because I've done angry dishes next to my wife before when we were fighting, and there's, like, a really sad moment where you're both, like, technically working together to, like, do dishes and, like, love... You're, like, hand it to me, I'll try no, there's no, talk there's no talking because oh. we were at that level, too. And it just becomes this kind of angry <laughs> level. But, like, you're working together on the same <laughs> thing, but you're mad at each other, and it is it's very strange. It's very strange. It is. And it's no one a wants to silly. crack. Yeah. yeah, like, I have a thing, like, I should say that. I'm like, no, I'm not cracking. I'm not losing this one. Right. So, or even if they drop something, you're like, I'm not going to tell yeah, them. Well, step but, on that I mean, do, do you ever think oh my god this is so silly and then you start laughing in my head yes but i i never out loud no i don't want to lose you know I, tell, I always tell ali relationships all about scorekeeping it's all <laughs> it's always about who can be right more and who can have more examples to draw from to prove they've been right over the long haul <laughs> ali tells me i'm setting myself up for divorce and failure uh, how long have you been married uh, ten, uh, almost ten years. Okay. Yeah. Same. Almost. Yeah, yeah. Which is, uh, and there's, a, and, and don't get me wrong. Look, we have a lot. In fact, we've all written down very sad things that go on in our lives. We're going to mm -hmm. let you judge, uh, okay. judge and jury wh which one of us has the saddest existence. Mm -hmm. We're convinced Allie's wife cheats on her all the time. We'll get she into that too. She doesn't do that. Well, we're convinced Jake, of it. Omar, does Allie's wife cheat? The answer is yes. Okay. That would be a big yes. Okay. All the thank time. you, Omar. Wait, why? You. Why are people convinced your wife cheats? Because she's very friendly uh -huh. and because I'm not a, an overly social person in uh -huh. the wild. Yeah. I can be in the context of this show, but... Don't just say she's very friendly. She gets she, numbers for bartenders, she got, bartenders. She did get a number, a phone number from a bartender in front of me, but it was and a did friend. did she go on a date with She was her. thirsty. She, right. Yeah. Well, and they were <laughs> getting along. Thirsty. They liked the same bands. They may have gone to a show the weekend after and watched Sheryl Crow together. Okay. 
She met. Take, uh, this, let's just, this is no joke. She met her wife. Met a bartender without Ali. Got her phone number. Then the next weekend said, "Let's go watch Cheryl Crow together." In the world of lesbians, that's got to be as lesbian as you get, right? There's nothing that you can that. get more lesbian than Cheryl Crow. You can. Oh All yes. Right, Have I you ever heard know. of a folk singer named Farron? No, I haven't. Okay, well that's like that is as gay as it gets, <laughs> right. my sir. All right. Oh, now we know. So that's one example. But and look, I have to say, I've been accused of flirting with people with friends of mine. People that I've known well. I've had them on my podcast. And you know when you have a relationship where you dig at each other? Like yeah, yeah, what yeah. you guys are doing yeah. here. And uh, I've had people write in and be like, you are flirting with Rebecca. Or you, you know. Right. And I'm like, what are you Did you ever dance topless with Rebecca, though? Because uh, Allie's wife did that. I did go see her, Cheryl Crow with Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah. That's as good. That's yeah. big time. Yeah. Yeah. Opening act um, fair. That's big time. Watched your special last night. It's so good. I love all your specials. I've watched every single one of them. And um, Are you reading that off a piece of paper? No, I'm not. She I wrote am. her compliment down ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted to make so sure that she, I don't lose track. She wanted to make sure she got it out right. I saw it. It did really feel insincere right there. <laughs> Allie's saying that. I loved your special. It was like a ransom note. <laughs> I enjoyed Is it. Is that how you tell your wife you love her? And you read it off a piece of paper? <laughs> It says here, I love you with all of my heart. <laughs> no, I just, I didn't expect the piano uh -huh. to come out. I and, didn't either. And, uh, and they're singing, Klein, as well. And it's something that, like, you know, when a comedian brings out a prop, you're like, oh, here we go. But mm -hmm. it's the best part of the special, by mm -hmm. far. Yeah. By well, far? Yeah, I well, loved it. Because ouch, it, that means the first part of the special <laughs> was by far well, no. not as well, she good. Went, she went off her notes right now, and now she's she's flailing. <laughs> she, you went off your scripted notes. Another short question I have. I think your wife's cheating on you. <laughs> <laughs> Taking us in the studio now. This is going to be a good morning. We're very excited. We'll come back in a second. Talk about podcast. Very successful. The special. And Allie will give more backhanded compliments. <laughs> Flying. K-R-O-Q. K-Rock. K-Rock, Klein Alley Show. Thrilled that Tig Notaro is with us in studio. By the way, show's upcoming all over uh, Southern California. The uh, 19th at Dynasty Typewriter, then at Largo. I would argue Largo was kind of the first time that you, at least for me, where you became from like cult comedian to kind of household name. You had that set at Largo. It was oh, a decade ago, and you were very public about your health diagnosis. Mm -hmm. And uh, ever since then, I think people have been like, whoa. And now I've seen you in the, what's that show I love on Apple? Uh, the Morning, Morning Show. show. Yeah, you're in that as well. Yeah. Had... Star Trek. Come on, let's keep rattling off my... Uh... <laughs> doing some things here. Hold on, I've got your things. IMDb here. Allie's ready to go. To so uh, thanks. And the podcast, uh, Handsome, which is doing quite well. You're it's getting... doing really well. It's so fun. It's with um, my friends Fortune Feimster and mm -hmm. Mae Martin, and it's just utter nonsense. It is so fun to just not worry about anything, just press record. Yeah. And be stupid together. Does it make you think when you come into like a traditional radio show, like right now, like, oh man, it sucks. I've got all these rules and I can't just say the C word if I wanted to and everything else? Yeah, I'm really bummed that I can't say the C word. Oh, no, you can't. Go ahead. Yeah. What is no, the C don't word? Don't say the C word. Don't what is it? Yeah. Can you spell it? Uh, I actually couldn't. Actually, can I'm we a, spell I'm it? I'm a terrible speller, so I probably couldn't spell it anyway, <laughs> even if I tried. But, you know, stuff like that. The uh, new special, which is on uh, Prime Video streaming now, is called Hello Again. And in it, you do talk about being... The, the second favorite parent, mm -hmm. which is a situation that I feel like I am in as well. That is, it's a, it's a tough... I thought you liked... I thought you're... Well... I, no, your I, kids do insult you on a regular basis. On a but regular I also, basis. How old are they? F five and seven. Mm -hmm. and, and yours are seven? They, they will be eight in June. Right. And they're, they're brutally honest now to the point where they say things that I should laugh off and go, oh, that's just kids. But I can tell it comes from a place of honesty. Mm -hmm. And when you, uh, I don't want to butcher your joke, but you talk about just when you kind of got home and, and the, you, know, you get that like door open and then you show up and the kid's like, oh, it's just her. Like mm -hmm. you're not the mom they wanted. <laughs> right. How does that really, feel? I mean, yeah. at your core, do you laugh it off or does that really hurt? Because that, that does hurt. Uh, I I mean, maybe 1% it hurts, but I would say the rest of the percentage there, it, I think it is so hilarious. It wasn't recent, oh, you know, okay. I, you know, it's not like when they were seven, they said oh, that. My kids are seven now. That's <laughs> but, the problem. That's but, the difference. But uh, even if they did, I think I would still kind of think it was amusing and ask them, 
I'd, I'd probably have a follow up question of wh- why. Do you have a favorite? <laughs> uh, I know it's it's you know the whole thing that we all agreed our lives. Oh, parents don't have favorite children, but I think now that I've got kids, Allie, you only have one. But I mean, so that's the favorite. He's not your favorite right now. <laughs> but uh, do you have a favorite? Yeah, okay. I see what you're doing. I like it. Right. Just I just wanted sure. to try out silence on radio. I, I heard Works it's great. really good. Right, for this show, a nice the... pregnant pause goes and a long absolutely way. Absolutely not. How dare you oh, okay. ask me right. that? There's your quote for Each today's show. Each little face I turn and look at, I can't believe exists. Have you had the, because um, you kind of touch on this on your special as well, the two mommies conversation. Mm-hmm. Now that they're a little bit older, have you had like more of a conversation about that? Because my wife and I still have no idea what we're going to do. My my son is two, mm-hmm. and I'm like, when, when he figures it out like he'll figure it out but when he starts going to school and other kids start talking you know do you have that conversation well you know i thought we were on top of this and truly um a few months ago while our kids were seven when we were going to drop them off they over at school they overheard us in the front seat talking about something or other, blah, 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 and we're gay. And our son chimed in, you're gay? <laughs> <laughs> this is seven years living together. <laughs> and we had a real <laughs> moment of like, "How? wait, our kids don't know. Uh, dare this I point? even say we are an iconic gay couple? <laughs> yeah. And so we drop them off after we explain that, yes, we're gay. And then I realized after I thought about it, we assumed that they knew what gay was just because there were two moms. Right, that they, they knew. They that don't that's... really know what, I mean, we've said like, they, we're, they're around other gay parents and like diversity times a million. Right. But we hadn't walked them through what that really meant. And so we really did more of a deep dive of like different families and different, you know, we just assumed, oh, they know what they have two moms. So we're gay. Right. It's a shocking thing to learn when you're in the backseat of the car. Like, Wait a minute. I just thought they were. And yeah. what a way to go into school. You're yeah. like, Man. I thought we were all four just roommates. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We have things that uh, you don't know us yet. And, and hopefully you come back and you'll get to know us. But these are five different things about the people on this show. And Tig, you will get to be the judge, jury and executioner as to which one of us truly has the saddest existence. Well, I'll be in touch for sure because your wife got my number. Great. And awesome. So we will, <laughs> I believe we will be. It's I'll see you so soon. You don't have to read true. that one on the list then, Clay. I'm not going to read. I changed it. Now, <laughs> one, I'm going to tell you five things that happened. You rank. You t- decide who's the saddest. Someone on the show drove 48 hours to see the eclipse in Texas, but it was cloudy and couldn't see any of the eclipse. This happened yesterday. Okay. 48 hours in two days to see the eclipse, got there, and it was covered in clouds. Is that sadder than a person on the show that ate dog food for dinner because the picture on the front made them think it was human food, and they <laughs> ate it, and then realized after eating it and reading the back of it because it wasn't very good that they were indeed eating dog food? Is that sadder than this person who had a plant in their house for years? When it finally died, they brought it to Home Depot and returned it because of the return policy, waited in line, and actually got their money back for the plant that they returned, a dead plant. (laughs) Is it sadder than the person that has no space in their own closet at home so they store their clothes in their kitchen pantry? Or is it sadder than the... uh, well, I, I can't read that one. That's uh, the Allie's other one about her wife cheating on her with Allie's the other one. Thank you. <laughs> Were they all me? They're all Allie. <laughs> These are all your biggest fan out. No, uh, which one of those is the saddest? Uh, I would have to say the dog food. <laughs> Hey, what? Omar. It's that, an innocent mistake. Uh, innocent There's mistake. a big piece of grilled chicken on the bag, and the dog little p- picture of the dog was so tiny. Is this really true? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Who it, I was, it was after a late night gig. I came home, and I was like ravenous, and I see this. Uh, I, unbeknownst to me, my wife went to Costco and bought this fancy dog food. I'm like, oh, what the hell? But it looked like a piece of grilled chicken. I put it in a bowl, microwaved it. It smelled great. I started eating it. It did not taste great. Well, it was clear. You said it was fancy. What made it fancy? Fancy. It didn't taste Well, good. it was refrig- It was dog food that you have to re- 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 remain refrigerated. Yeah, it was fan- in the refrigerator. Yeah. Fancy in the world of dog food, not fancy in the world of human food. Well, my yeah. wife's old teacher uh, used to eat uh, dog or cat food because uh, she said it made her nails stronger because she played guitar. I'm sorry, what? 
So was there a certain brand that she... What, are you interested in asking for a friend? <laughs> well, I, have, I, have, I have brittle and cracking nails. I'm going to switch to a full cat new diet now. You're a guitarist as I well? Just, no. <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow, Allie's going to start coughing up fur balls on the show. I just think nail health is important. Do you yeah. know of any place where you can pay her? Maybe, maybe it's on sale? <laughs> well, I definitely do. I didn't honestly ask what brand it was. Yeah, that's a weird follow-up. When she told me the story. Allie. Yeah. <laughs> You've probably told this to other people. I think Allie's the first person to go, do you have the uh, yeah. recommendation? What store? Where can I buy that? I- <laughs> just, just wanted to know. Guys, uh, TIG special. Check it out now. It's also, called... Also, check out Handsome. Yes. The Handsome, the podcast. Very funny. Bunch of great guests on there. Courtney Cox, Jennifer Aniston, Craig Robinson. Lisa Kudrow. Uh, and hello again, streaming now, Prime Video. Take thanks so much for coming by, K-Rock. Thanks really for appreciate having it. Me. Take care. The great. Take the taro on K-Rock. Klein